Hi there, I am Roshan and welcome to the programming portal. In this tutorial, you will see a Python program to print the Fibonacci series. So the first question comes to mind, what is the Fibonacci series? It is a sequence of integer numbers formed by the addition of preceding two numbers in the series. It always starts from 0 and 1 and then continues by the addition of preceding two numbers. I know it's a little bit confusing, but let's take in a simple way with an example. In this example, 0 and 1 are the first two terms of the series. The third term is calculated by adding the first two terms. In this case, 0 and 1. So we get 0 plus 1 equals to 1, hence 1 is printed as the third term. The fourth term is calculated by adding second and third term. So 1 plus 1, that is 2, is the fourth term. And similarly, it goes for entire series. We can print FIVO series in many ways. You can use loop or recursion or any optimized technique. In this video, I will write code using a loop. So let's get started. First, we need an integer input from the user. So I can write num equals to input method. We can print some message. Enter any number. We need to convert this to integer type so we can write int method here. This num defines how many Fibonacci terms we want. In Fibo series, first two numbers are always 0 and 1. So we can declare two variables, let's say n1 and n2. And then we'll initialize them with 0 and 1. So we can write 0, 1. It means n1 equals to 0 and n2 equals to 1. FIVO series is calculated by addition of preceding two numbers. So let's declare one variable sum, which will store our addition value and let's set it to 0 initially. So we can write sum equals to 0. Next, we can add some validation to our number. If the number entered by the user is 0 or less than 0, then we can simply print some error message. So I can write if number is less than equals to 0, then we can print some message. Please enter number greater than 0. Else, if the number is greater than 0, then we'll find FIVO series. To print n term from the series, we'll write one for loop with range function starting from 0 to num. So I can write for i in range, it will start from 0 to num. First thing is to print initial sum value. So we can write print sum here and we can add some separator. So I can write end equals to space. In the first occurrence, the sum will be 0. Next step is to interchange the variables. So the second number will be considered as first value and some value will be considered as second number. So we can write n1 equals to n2. So the n2 value will be stored in n1 value. And n2 equals to, we can write sum. So for every iteration, n2 value will be stored in n1 and sum value will be stored in n2. And we can write sum equals to n1 plus n2. It will perform the addition of preceding two numbers. This process will continue until condition is satisfied. So let's save this and try to run. It is asking for an input so we can type 7 which will print 7 Fibonacci series. So hit enter. So we have got 7 Fibonacci series. As you can see 2 plus 3 equals to 5, 5 plus 3 equals to 8. Let's try with different number. Let's say 15. So it will print 15 Fibonacci numbers. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching. See you next time.